Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 2 Modded Minecraft. So, I had recorded another video between this one and the last one I had published, and there were some issues with it. So we are going to do a quick recap as to what I had done in that episode, um, and then we are going to take on the Chaos Chicken. I don't know if we're going to make it, but, you know, hey, it works. So, quick recap. We now have the last chicken, so we now have plutonium. So that is the last chicken I needed to breed up, unless I decide to do the dyed chickens. Let's see, the uh, cows, we are definitely making some huge progress in terms of the different cows and stuff. Biggest thing right now, I am working on the melodic alloy, and then um, next will be the resonant ender, because both of those take the molten end steel, and I only have one of those cows, so... Right now we're working on this, and so we've made it, you know, all over the place. So we are definitely getting close to where um, the cows are all finished. Additions I made down here, I found these. These are from missing pieces or grass wedges, so I can actually access the um, the tanks and stuff. So, <laughs> look at that, that, holy cow. That is a whole lot of water. That thing, yeah. Um, that thing produces a lot of water, so, hmm, I think that, yeah, that is definitely the, yeah, it seems to be constantly producing water, so that's interesting. Um, these other ones are definitely a little bit slower in terms of, you know, actually producing stuff. Like here, we only have 84,000, so, and 50,000, so, yeah, the water seems to be a, um, a constant producer. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're actually going to be using all that much water. My goodness. So yeah, so that is what we have done there. Let's see in here. We haven't done anything really though. I did make some changes in here. Um, as you can see, all we have is the flex crystals in here and that's because they absolutely love it. Um, and so I've been using this kind of as a flex crystal farm. I did end up creating a, let's see, where is it? Crystal laboratory. I created a area, this area has a lot higher of this, and, you know, and this farm is by just some bear, I found him on Reddit, and, you know, trying to find a way to actually farm crystals and stuff, but doesn't seem to be working very well, because the crystals, yeah, the non-flux crystals do not seem to want to grow, even though, because if we come over here, we can look. We've got just around, you know, 200 in terms of the, uh, the vis in the area. And so, yeah, I do, I don't know what's up with the crystals, you know, hopefully at some point, cause I do have these crystal or this, these chunks loaded. Um, and so it is, you know, they're going to be constantly, you know, able to grow if they decide to do so. So the one thing that I'm really worried about is that maybe I had screwed something up in, um, you know, in the actual game. And yeah, now they, you know, now they won't grow, but we'll give it, you know, we'll give it some more time and stuff and then see if it'll actually, you know, actually work. So the other thing was I did, I moved the arcane workbench over here because if we come over here, we can see I have over 2000 vis available for crafting in here. Whereas back in the other place, I had 90 something. And that's because the flux is kind of taking over that area and the vis isn't, you know, working very well. So, and then, oh, in terms of quests, I did get, I did do the, the flux filter, the auxiliary venting port in preparation for the, you know, setting up the actual Thomcraft laboratory. Um, cause we'll, you know, we got that. And then I also did the rest of the fusion. The last thing to do on that one was the arcane pedestal as we already did the runic matrix. And then the arcane stone, all we were missing was the arcane pedestal. So we are able to actually set up our fusion, you know, our infusion altar. And then, you know, get the al al alembic, al I think it's an alembic, um, set up over in here. And try to get all of that stuff set up for Thomcraft. And then the other thing was in Draconic. And that was this, the Draconic Flux Capacitor. So I made the... The Wyvern Flux Capacitor and the Draconic. And so if we, yep, I still have it in here. Uh, this is made with the Draconium Ingot, the, the Wyvern Energy Core, and the Wyvern Core. And then you take that, and then you can upgrade it into the Draconic Flux Capacitor. Now, 
256 a million RF. <laughs> this thing contains a lot of RF. And right now I have it set up to charge those things that I'm holding as well as the armor. So that is in preparation for fighting the lovely chaos chicken. And so that's the reason why I have the dragon eggs in my inventory. Oh, and we seem to be a little bit stuck. Okay. And yeah, so that is all of that. Um, so the next step then is to actually go to the end dimension. So we'll go ahead and use this one here. So we get to go and see about fighting the lovely chaos chicken. Now I had wanted to put soul bound on my, uh, on my armor and stuff. And I think, I think I had set up the stuff in here. We have to be careful cause yeah, I don't want to accidentally fall down and yeah, I had set the stuff over here. Okay. Um, this area isn't all that, um, well, for one, all that lit up. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's pretty dark, but what I want to do, let's see. Okay. There we go. I want to take that. Oh, and I want to take that and I actually want to move this stuff over to the other section because the, uh, the hole is actually bigger over there. And so it might be a little bit easier to kind of, you know, <laughs> fight the, Chaos Chicken. Um, I don't know. I figured that maybe, you know, maybe if he has a little bit more room to move around and stuff, it might make it slightly easier, though we do have to be careful that we don't actually fall down because those cobblestones are, you know, kind of indicating that is where I spawn in at. And so, yeah. All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and we will set this thing up here. And we'll do that. And then we need our dragon egg. I am definitely very, very nervous about this. Um, okay. So throw that. Okay. There it goes. All right. So let's go ahead and pop over here so we can wait for him to actually spawn in. Um, it'll take a little while for him to actually get situated. Okay. Here he goes. And then once he actually gets his shield on, then we can go and hit him with the chicken stick so we can break his, um, break his shield. So, and yeah, <laughs> my heart's beating so fast right now. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. So he's a little over halfway in. All right. Let's, um, yeah, let's, let's see how this works. Hopefully the draconic armor is, is good enough that we can actually get this done. All right, he's almost, he almost, he's almost there, almost there. Okay, so the egg is Hugh Among Us. He's just got one more bar left, okay. All right, maybe. Is he gonna, is he gonna, oh, there he is, okay. All right, okay, there he goes. Okay, he's attacking the, he's attacking the Enderman. Oh, he saw me. Um, hi. I've been waiting for this time to come. There's no future for you people. <laughs> Your fate is in our hands. Oh dear. Be prepared to die. Yeah, I am prepared to die. Oh, okay, there he goes. There he goes. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to break that shield. Hopefully he doesn't charge. Oh, okay, he charged. Okay. All right. We want to break that. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, this is actually a good position. Underneath him. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. We are doing so much damage. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. We might actually do this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Armor, armor is, oh my gosh. Armor is, armor is so helping. Armor. Oh my gosh. I, yes, we did it. We did it. We actually defeated the Chaos Chicken. Oh my gosh. The armor actually worked. This is fantastic. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I got, I, 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 I got so, ah, hi, um, I got so loud on you guys, I'm so sorry, okay, oh my gosh, my heart is racing so fast right now, <laughs> oh my goodness, all right, let's go see, let's go see what we can, um, let's, oh my gosh, the draconic armor is awesome for this, okay, oh my goodness, oh, we only got two chaos shards from that, that's not good, we need, I think I figured out that we needed 15. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> my heart, my heart is good. Blah, 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 Um, okay. Cause we needed 15. That means I end up needing to defeat the, or the chaos chicken. Let's see what eight times. 
We're going to need eight times in order to actually get the amount of chaos shards that we need. Um, I need to defeat it at least two more times in order to make the, um, in order to make the fusion core. Oh, and that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> So, all right, so that, okay, so we've got two, and then let me, um, okay, let's do, let's do fusion, yeah, because we need the chaotic fusion crap, or no, not that, we need, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't even think straight right now, um, this guy, okay, so we can go ahead and claim this one, that's awesome, and then we can go ahead and claim this one. Um, let's, okay, so that's, that's the last one. Ooh, flex bore. I might have to check that one out. Um, okay. So, reactor. Reactor is what I wanted. Reactor. Okay, so this thing, the reactor stabilizer. We needed four of those. And so that takes a chaotic core. And so four of those... Okay, that doesn't require it. So four, five. Okay, so yeah, so we need five. So I need to defeat the chaos chicken two more times. That'll, or yeah, two more times. That'll give me six. That'll give me enough to actually get the, ooh, we got some void metal too. Um, but I think that was from the um, loot thing from the quest. Um, so six in total. So two more times to defeat the chaos chicken in order to get the stuff we need for the reactor. So we've got we've got the area set up. Um, I don't think I don't think there were any other components that I needed for that. And then of course we need we're gonna end up needing one for each of these as well. So that's another ten. And I think I think that was all we needed for the actual unless we wanted to get into the higher level stuff. So if we actually go. Chaos. Um, yeah, there's some chaotic stuff, but that's not what, yeah, it looks like the only chaos level stuff really here. Let's, um, let's go uses for this one. Okay. So for the, the mob spawner and then, oh, the chaotic upgrades. That was the other thing that we needed them for. And then, oh, and then the Tome of Knowledge was the other thing. Though that requ requires extreme crafting. So, because that was one of the next things that we ended up needing to do is the actual extreme crafting. That's the, all this stuff here. So, <laughs> luckily I've been, you know, kind of gathering up all kinds of, you know, materials and stuff for, you know, for this. Um, but yeah, so I guess... I guess my job, um, I definitely expected this fight to take a little bit longer, but with the Dracotic gear, it w turned out to be a whole lot easier than the first time I tried it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I'm going to go and, um, calm my nerves a bit and then I guess go and fight the Chaos Chicken some more times so that we can actually get moving forward on defeating all of, um, all of the, yeah, all the chaos chickens that we need for, you know, all the wonderful stuff that we need to, in order to move forward. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely hit that like button and then I will see you guys next time. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.